Yeah. You don't know basketball like that. <laughs> I'm that serious. All right. How many Knicks, times are Cleveland Cavs? How many times the Cleveland lost in the conference final? Four. You have no idea. They lost game four tonight. <laughs> Knicks trying to close out the Cleveland Cavaliers. Jalen Brunson for hey, three. Hey, five, uh, no, two, they two, lost five. four. I know they lost four times in the last week. Brunson again. This, this dude, dude know hockey better than he know basketball. This dude right here, Bronson. They're up seven after one. I RJ tell you what, RJ Barrett. Barrett has played great too the last yes, year. Yes. Yeah, he had 21 in this one. Oh, Julius Randle, a much better game five than game four when he was benched in the fourth quarter. Miley he Cyrus. had 13 in the first half, and then. You know, he's been playing on a bad left ankle, and then he aggravates it because he steps on Karis Levert. We're going to give you another look at that. And uh, a wrecking ball. you will Random. see what happened as he comes down on oh, a hurt and uh, made his way off the floor and would not return to action. 61 51 Knicks oh. at the half. Watch his windmill, Kenny. I see it. Obi oh. Toppin. That's a nine. He started the second half with uh, Randall out, scored the first seven points, and gave the Knicks even more breathing room. That's what they call Knicks man up, brother. Brunson, get up. Oh. They led by 18. I see you Spike spiked. loving every second of it. They're up 12 going to the fourth. As, uh, I like the fact that Randall came back out back. to the bench. Yeah. Support your team, brother. Donovan Mitchell trying to keep Cleveland in this thing with the help of Darius Garland, and they were able to pull within six, but just too much. Really, rebounding was the story of oh, the that, series. That dude's, uh, he Mitchell was Robinson. Mitchell Robinson dominated yeah. this series from the, from the paint perspective. Oh, look at that. Man, look at it. He had, eight, he had 18 rebounds in the game, 11 on the offensive glass. That can't happen in a week. Yeah. Um, their first series win since 2013. Uh, they've now clinched. Their last four times they've won a series, they've clinched it on the road. They do it in Cleveland tonight. 15 and 0 are the Knicks when they hold teams under 100, which they did in all four wins against the Cleveland Cavaliers. It's time for some more. Jackie the Yak. Yak. It sucks. This is my sixth time sitting up here in the first and second round having the same same press conference, you know, and for, for me, it feels a little different than these guys, but I think they're in a place where they understand, you know, where, where it hurts. And I think we all feel like we let, we let ourselves down. We did a lot of special things throughout the season for it to come to an end like this. Mitch, when he's out there, he's just relentless. And um, it's just, it's a, when he goes out there, he's like so passionate going for rebounds. What he's done this year has been nothing short of incredible. 11 offense. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I mean, kind of says it all. You know, he was great tonight. Uh, he was really great all series. We needed every single rebound that he got. Um, so, yeah, no, he was great. Josh, do you think Jalen's a star player? I think so. Um, he's undersized, <laughs> um, overrated, overpaid. Um, but yeah, he, he's a star player. He showed that. None of us in that locker room or in that front office or coaching staff is surprised with how he's playing. Oh, yeah, man, you're all star. Don't touch me. You're all star, buddy. <laughs> Forty-eight to thirty rebounding advantage. Second pan, uh, second chance points. Twenty to three in this game. And look, when when folks talked about the Cleveland Cavaliers, obviously you're talking about the backcourt of Mitchell and Garland is top drawer, but they also, you know, you looked at Jared Allen and, and Evan Mobley and said, hey, that's a handful. They got size. And Mitchell Robinson outplayed both of those dudes. Well, I, I think it was just a, the physicality. But both of those dudes need to get in the weight room. I was very disappointed in Jared Allen, personally. You know, I've been bragging about him for years. Uh, and Mobley, he's just too light in the cakes. I mean, he just just a little light in the ass. But I, oh, yeah, we were wondering what we, cakes, we cakes were. we didn't really we know knew cakes. Meant. But uh, I mean, but <laughs> I was disappointed in Jared Allen because, like I said, I've been bragging about him for three or four years to get manhandled and dominated. And what bothered me about it, you saw it the first game, and they never adjusted. The only time they actually competed was when Garland went off in game two. Uh, so uh, very disappointing. Uh, from that aspect, that the big guys didn't pick up their physicality, but also Donovan Mitchell, 
You know, he's, he says, uh, you know, I've been sitting up here all these years. Like, yo, man, you got to play better. You got to play better. You know, you, you, you want to be a star. You can't, uh, you got to play better. Uh, you, I always tell one thing. You want to be a star, he put himself in position to be a star. Well, he wants to be a star. You got to, you got to, you got to play. You can't go out there and have more turnovers in, in your game. But the one thing about being a star, you can't be the reason your team lose. And not only that, you can't take a night off, especially in the playoffs. You can't take a night off. You can't. If you do have a bad game, hopefully the others stick up for you and you get a win. You know, he's, he's sort of like AD. He's been a little bit up and down. We, we expect him to play better. But the Knicks are good. They're, 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 they're really good. You know, for, we kind of doubted them a little bit. Kenny didn't doubt them, but, you know, we kind of just didn't know because of, you know, the past seasons. But there, Jalen Brunson has put that team on his back and they play well. They got a nice bet. RJ Barrett is really playing. Some really good basketball, and they're together. And, and Mitchell Robinson kid, he was out there yeah, like Moses. Yeah, he was, he was killing them. Just killing stuff. people. Let him off some good. rebounds. Meantime, really the, uh, the Cleveland Cavaliers haven't won a series without LeBron since 1993. And they lose uh, in five to the New York Knicks, 106 to 95. We'll, uh, when we come back, more on the uh, Miami victory over Milwaukee. And we'll we'll take a peek ahead at what we think about the the Andy Knicks Butler. and the Heat no in the Eastern Trump. Conference. No, good, man, that's a push Stop off. flopping. Come on, Tell man. Him, you can't just uh, be manhandled. No, yes, you can. You just said they got manhandled in New York. Yeah, that's